I have 10 different photos at 10 different places in Switzerland. So all 10? Yeah, all 10. Oh. I was like, uh. Welcome to today's episode of Legit Support Local. Today I'm going to bring you to my favorite nail place to get my nails done. It's been a while. So it's at here Katong Shopping Center B150. The shop name is called Neolit 2. Today I'm getting something really different from what I usually get, so I'm really excited. And I just want to share with you like my favorite nail place and I hope. You will come here and give her a support as well. So now I'm just waiting for the light to turn green. Oh, it's green. Let's go. Ha! Let's go. It's actually quite far from my house because I stay at Genov. So I have to like go to Topayo and then change the bus. But if you stay near the east, it's gonna be convenient for you because it's at Katong, Mountbatten area. Hi! So now I'm at Neolit 2 and this is Sneaky. She's the business owner of this new bu new business. Yeah. It's called new business, <laughs> yeah. right? I'm gonna like kind of ask you a few questions so that people know more about you and your business. Okay. Yeah, are you ready? Are you Not nervous? So. <laughs> a little bit, okay. First question, how did Neolit 2 begin? I went to do my nails first. Then I really like the look of the nails yeah. that like I thought like okay maybe I can try it on my own. So I bought a lot of like those like cheaper products like on Shopee and everything. I started going around asking everybody like, so I can paint their nails. In the end like Hui Lin. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. was like, working at the studio. So you're time. working with a friend first, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we started this business together actually. We really wanted to raise funds for that time, like Australia bushfire. Oh. Yeah. I think in 2020, COVID year. Yeah. Then we like uh, earned quite a bit and then we donated it. Because we had a lot of products left and we decided to like, just continue the business. Huh? All the way until like last year, I think she wanted to focus more on like family mm. and like, everything. So then like, I decided to like, continue this on my own. Do you think you have like a fixed style or design that you go towards or like you are stronger in or it's more of like open concept, you are free and easy to do any kind of design? Or social media is like at our fingertips. Mm. So I'm always looking at nail content. Somehow like information will get stored here so you don't realise that like actually I know how to do a lot of things but mm. I don't even know that I know how to do a lot of things. Actually I'm quite open to try new things. Sometimes you want to do more abstract and like some Japanese style, Korean style. Personally, I mean if you see the account like personally prefer like florals la. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I see you've been branching out a little bit more on like more funky pieces. Yeah. Yeah. So she used, uh, Nikki used to do a lot of line work. I want to insert the pictures here, okay? Like those of like inspired of places and locations. Those oh, are so nice. Okay. Actually drawing like landscapes on nails. I think it's a little bit easier. It's so small, right? Then you just have to like make sure the shades is like make sense mm. in that small. But isn't it like challenging to kind of we create the entire scenery in that small space that we have for our meals. Yeah, I just don't have patience. <laughs> oh, so patience is key. Yeah. Patience and like, I think trust the process. You know what's your greatest fulfillment? Or like maybe the top three projects you are the most proud of? <gasps> wow, so few projects. Ah. I think fulfillment, ah, when people look at their nails and they're happy. My top three, there's this girl that came with like a little prince like inspo. Then she wanted like water colory base and then I never really done something like that before. And then like, it turned out quite well. Yeah, recently I think she she asked me to do the scenery of Switzerland. So she came in and then she she's like, uh, I have ten different photos at ten different places in Switzerland. <laughs> so all ten. Yeah, all ten. Oh. I was like, uh, okay, I tried. Oh, yeah. 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 That one took about two and a half hours. Wow, okay. Yeah, but okay, okay. It's not but it's quite fast. Two and a half hours yeah. for ten, ten nails, ten nails with yeah. like. Quite uh, uh co it's counted complex, right? Complex yeah, design. Complex, yeah, complex. Yeah. That was the last one. I think probably my mom's. So my mom likes florals. Mm. I mean, when you first started out, like you don't know how to control the brush and yeah. everything. Then your strokes are very big, and I never knew how to do like more of a like, watercolorish design or more realistic for mm. floral look. I tried it with my mom, and that was the one that like taught me how to mix colors properly. Mm. So, so it's like a continuous learning process in yeah, the journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. I wouldn't say there's the three. I think there's a lot. It's just that this like, the top of my head also because it's the most recent. But as you do, like you find out new things, and there's like small little breakthroughs here and there, and then it's just find very exciting. Mm -hmm. So last question is: if there's anybody out there who is like thinking of starting a new business, mm -hmm. right? But they are actually afraid to venture, or they feel like. Oh, I'm not artistic enough or I don't have the, the flair for doing this. Do you have any words for them? I honestly I feel anything that you do, you need to be passionate. If you are passionate, you will find a way to make things work. Don't be afraid to ask people for help or like how you can start or anything or you can ask me also. <laughs> yeah. DM <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Or even to take like causes. It quickens the learning process and everything. Ultimately don't don't be too stressed. You don't have to be worried about reaching where you want to reach like, in a short period of time. I think most importantly is you just have to like allow yourself to enjoy the process. Enjoy the process and celebrate in like your little wins. But mm. ultimately that like, passion is important. Alright, thank you Nikki. Now right, I'm gonna show you what I want to do today. It's like a combination of things that makes me feel happy. Okay. I kind of have this mood board where Oh my gosh, okay. Um not saying that I want honors to have the designs, okay? okay but okay. I kind of want to have like elements of Kirby. Don't have to be 3D, it can be 2D. Maybe like a small pictures and then like smiley face and the rainbow. You also okay. play around la challenge. One thing to be like colourful or like more nude. Oh, I think the base I want it to be more nude. Okay, because I have this. Okay, this is what I like about Nikki is that like she has a lot of <laughs> ideas and I trust her so much. Every time I come here I'm just like you go do what you want to do, right? Yeah, yeah it's true, it's true. Yeah. If you want like more nudish, like I have this this palette, so I can do this. I can do a gradient like on your nail. That means it's like a pink to blue. Pink, this one? Oh, this one, this looks good. You think this will be nice? The glittery yeah. one? Can, can also. Okay, then maybe this for the base. Then the rest you. Uh, on your free and easy. I trust you. Okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> session with Nikki and it's so cute! So I want to say thank you to Nikki for agreeing to be in this video and helping me do my pretty nails. Maybe just to wrap up this whole video, maybe you can share with the viewers more about uh, how do you release your slots and usually what time are they? I usually release my slots like two weeks before the month. It's usually like on Tuesdays, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's usually in the morning so it's like 10 a.m., 12 p.m. And 2 p.m. slots. All the available slots will be in my highlights. Okay, yes, and that's all for my trip to Nail It Too. And I'll share more of my nails later when I reach home. Okay, bye! Hi, friends! I'm back home after I did my nails with Nikki and Nail It Too. And I have removed my specs all because today I have a ring light with me to ensure the consistency in brightness. Today, as you can tell, I'm kind of bare faced because it's a very chill day for me. I literally went out just to do my nails so that I can put this video out for all of you. So I hope that you all really like today's video. I'm very happy with the results. Nikki always make magic happen when I go to her to do my nails. Now let me show you my nails close up in detail and I can talk to you and share more with you about it. Yeah! So after discussing with Nikki, I decided to go for a more pastel shade because I want the nail to still look like it's painted when it's grown out. What I really really love about this set is the Kirby! I was telling Nikki that whenever I look at Kirby, I just want to smile. Because he's so cute! This very colourful pastel smiley face, also very cute. So Nikki has also added some clouds here to kind of make it a little bit more magical. So she added some gold flakes on the nails to kind of give it a pop of colour. Can you also see how detailed she is with the peach drawing? Like, it is amazing. I love it so much. And what I like about the clouds is, is that it's slightly 3D. 
and so is Mr. Kirby over here. It's a little bit 3D if you can tell. At first I went to Nikki and I told her I wanted like the different elements right and the rest can be like empty but Nikki was suggesting that I can actually add some swirls on the other plane nail so that it doesn't look too empty and yeah I really like that suggestion of hers because now it does look like it's a complete set lah. Of course um, it will be more pricier because it's additional art and I think when it comes to doing our nails right it kind of it's like a time to treat ourselves and sometimes for us it's like a therapy session so it's okay to spend a little bit more and it's gonna last for a while so you do want to pay a good price for good quality and trust me when you do your nails with Nikki right it lasts for a very long time the last time I did my nails I had it on for like I think seven to eight weeks or nine weeks which I know is not good for my nails but I did it because it didn't drop out right so I kept it growing haha <laughs> there wasn't much filming for the process of me getting my nails done because whenever I go to Nikki to do my nails we, we do we do like to share about things that we encounter in life and of course I want to spend that time to relax but if you want the full experience I would really strongly encourage you to head down it's worth the trip I travel all the way from the north to the east just get my nails done. If you are interested to find out more about Nearly 2, what you can do is to follow them on their Instagram page. They have more details about the schedule for that month, the terms and condition, the pricing, and of course, uh, when it comes to pricing, the more complex the design is, the higher the cost of add-on. For Nikki, she has already broken down the complexity of design into three different groups, A, B, C. With that, it will allow you to better understand what cost would the new design you desire cost and you can kind of aga the approximate cost, you know. If you want a clearer approximate cost, what you can do is to take the picture, screenshot and send it to Nikki. So yeah, that was what I did when I was a broke uni student and yeah, I was too broke to do it back there but now I'm a adult that can earn my own money I got nails that I can afford So yes! So yes, you have come to the end of today's video and if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to press the like button If you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe and do tell me what else you want to see on my channel by commenting down below It can be anything literally like it can be a it matters topic, it can be a legit support local, what local brands you wanna see, it can be daily vlogs, a room tour, anything under the umbrella that is um not too thirst trappy. Follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, my socials because I'll be posting other content over there. And yes, thank you so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye!